Allen, and today we are celebrating Anne Frank. She was only 15 when she died, but today she would be in her 90s. This girl fought through everything. Anne Frank was 10 years old when World War II started. Once her family realized things were getting worse for Jews, Anne and her family fled from Germany to Amsterdam, and this was the arrow means. <clears throat> A short time later, the Nazis then invaded Amsterdam. Now one of her best known stories is the secret annex. The secret annex was where Anne and her family hid for 761 days, over two years. It was the second floor of Anne's father's Otto's company. It wasn't anything special, it was small and uncomfortable. Now let's step inside the annex. Originally to enter the annex, you had to exit the main building and use a staircase on the outside of the building. This was basically where you got, you moved from the annex, I mean, the main building to the annex. Knowing the family would need to hide from the Nazis, Anne's dad, Otto, constructed an inside staircase to the annex. To enter into the annex from the office space, you would need to move a bookcase which was covering the, the secret staircase. The bookcase was there to fool the Nazis. Once you open the bookcase, there was a staircase. Once inside the secret annex, there was three separate ways to go. To the left was where, where the Franks lived, to the right was the bathroom, and straight ahead was a staircase. Inside the Franks' room is their bedroom as well as the area where the Franks spend their time during the day, the quiet time of the day. In this bedroom, Anne's sister Margaret slept with her parents. There was a bed, a small table, and chairs. Through another door inside the first room is where Anne and Peter Fritz slept. On the wall above, on, on the wall above Anne's bed, she hung a lot of pictures of famous people from Hollywood. A desk was also in the room where Anne went in her diary, and this is the desk, and that's the diary that she wrote in. From either the main hallway or from Anne's room, you could enter the bathroom. The bathroom was very small. There was a sink, toilet, mirror, and a washboard for doing laundry. All eight people in the annex had to use this one small bathroom. In the staircase from the main entry area was the way into the Van Pels living room. In front of the room is where Mr. and Miss Van Pels lived and slept. This room was also doubled as the main socializing space where all the families would hang out. Through another small secret door was the entrance to Peter Van Pell's room. This, door, this room was sort of a landing on the way up to the attic. Anne gave Peter some of her Hollywood pictures to hang up on his wall. Up the ladder from Peter's room was the attic. In the attic, there were windows where Anne would look outside to the trees and dream of the day she would be free. The annex was a pretty small space for the people who had lived inside. All the families did their best to use the space and make it home. The annex wasn't built to be made a home, but it turned out it could be made into one. I'd like to finish my new newscast with a quote from Anne's Frank Diary. What a wonderful thought it is that some of the best days of her life haven't even happened yet. Reporting live from Columbia, New Jersey, this is Faye Allen signing off.